Hey there, welcome back. I'm Christine Horn, The Booking Magnet. Welcome back to another episode of Booking Magnet Magic. <laughs> you know, I gotta just keep giving you the hands because I just feel so magical every time I even say the title of this show. <laughs> if you miss any part of this season, oh my gosh, you are going to want to get your life and catch up because these interviews have been so juicy. I mean, I feel so honored to be able to sit and and listen to these conversations and be a part of them. So I hope you feel the exact same way too. Today, I want to in introduce you to my friend, my sister from another mister, right? Her name is Charity Jordan. She is a world-class actress, educator, advocate and author. She's been in Oscar nominated films like Selma. You just saw her recently in Blumhouse's American Refugee. She's starring now at the time of this recording in The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray alongside Samuel L. Jackson. Oh my goodness, she has even has her own one woman shows. She's produced this woman. I mean, she, we've been friends since we were about 14, 15 years old in Atlanta, Georgia. And when I tell you, she is, I'm happy to call her friend. I'm proud to call her friend. She's driven, she's intelligent, she's hella funny. She's that person that makes you laugh when you try not to laugh and then you the one who get in trouble and she don't get in trouble. Like, that's how charity, <laughs> charity is. But then she will flip it and give you pure drama on the screen. You know, she is just part of my heart and I'm really excited for you to meet her and to hear this conversation. So buckle up, get your snack and check out Charity. Jordan. Charity! <laughs> if I sing your name, you know, I think I, I was thinking somebody else's name. That's how you know you extra special place in my heart. Okay. I mean, well, name. if I ever see you, you just be like, hey, Charity. I'll be like, what happened? I thought I was Charity. <laughs> He used to sing to me. Mm. Oh, Charity Jordan, thank you for saying yes. Thank you for for being my friend all these years. And uh, I'm so inspired by your story and your journey. Um, you know, Booking Magnet Magic, for those of you who've been watching and listening to this series, is really all about us reminding you about the the magic that is within you and each and every one of us. Um, and so this has just been so lovely to just to get to know people on a deeper level. So again, don't worry any, everyone, all of Charity's links to her web thing, web, social, all the things will be in the show notes. Um, I, didn't, I don't like taking a bunch of time doing that kind of intro here, but Charity, for those who don't know your journey, um, how did you get started in, in, in entertainment? Yesterday I, I, was, I was interviewing our friend Kelly Jen Rett. Oh yeah. And, and the answer was different because she was like, in entertainment, I think of entertainment as Hollywood and the craft, I think of this. So for you, how did you get started acting? Let's start there. Oh man, I think the same way. I think if it's acting, it was I have all these 80s movies, uh 80s movies planted in my head where I would be like reenacting them after we recorded them on VHS, me and my brother. <laughs> and then I would like come back and be like, fair is fair. Y'all don't know if y'all seen the legend of Billy Jean or something like that. <laughs> or uh I do the whole five heartbeats or the whole color purple. And I do not understand why my parents were letting me watch these things because <laughs> now that I'm a parent, I'd be like. Santa's got so so this was like inappropriate, like low key, like for me to be watching. Like, I don't know why they was letting me, but I think those type of things, I just loved just immersing myself in a film, whatever it was, even the, I mean, there was this back in the day, this like gymnastics movie about this girl and it's like American Anthem was the name of it. Anyway, but they should be like, duh, duh. And I would like do it afterwards, like run and jump, ah, and fall, ah. Da, da, right. So I just love the emotion of it, really. It was really just the emotional experience that film and television um, brought my way. Cosby Show, Different World, all those things that were so inspirational now that I look back and just giving you the space to create and tell a story every week or whenever you got to watch it. Um, and then I knew that's something I loved and wanted to do. And as we got ready to make a decision about high school to go to, I wanted to go to the performing arts high school that you and I and uh, Saikon, I'm sure some other people that would be on this show, um, went to. And I said, you know, I really wanted to be at a place where that was celebrated. Um, and I went to see you guys in the performance, including you as an eighth grader, you get to go visit high schools and y'all are doing gospel. Where are you going? Oh, yes. And Charity's, Charity's referencing Tri-City. Oh, sorry. 
school. Yeah, help in, help the girl out <laughs> in in East Point, Georgia. Um, <laughs> I didn't know you saw. Gosh, I for, I forget we have a couple years. Yeah, separate between us, but you saw Godspell. I loved that show. That oh show was my so god. Much fun. And I saw like the most passionate, most talented group of students on stage doing what I knew I wanted to do. And it made us realize I was possible, like not just just go to a place, but go to a place where you could live out your dreams. Um, and, and, and like she referenced, Tri-Cities is definitely like fame of East Point. Right. And so that was something I would binge watch every summer with my brother. It would be like 10 o'clock fame, 11 o'clock price is right. Okay. I got it down pack. But, um, and so when I saw that and just saw you guys, how good it was, I knew that was the place for me. And then I did that. And then of course, Tri-Cities is also connected to the Freddie Hendricks Youth Ensemble of Atlanta, um, which was our coach and teacher and mentor mm-hmm. uh, for all those years as youth and just being able to find our way through the craft. And then I just, I mean, I just knew it was what I was supposed to do. It is so interesting, Christine, even during the pandemic, Last year, I had a real heart to heart with God, like, yo, don't play. Like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing my whole life. Right. I have not come this far for it to be like, ha, ha, find something else to be. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> like, I cannot be a doctor right now. So you got to step up. Like, you're going to have to manifest some of these dreams and ambitions that's been in my heart since a little girl. And definitely those things have been coming to pass. So I just think always, just always having a longing for the spotlight. I'm not going to shy away from that. Mm-hmm. From the the fun of telling stories, of being emotional, yeah, that's the journey. I don't know. Did I answer? Yeah, you did. I was just a young boy <laughs> playing with my toys. So it was basically one act plays, one act so, solo shows in your house when you were a kid, yes, yes. or being a, bringing your brother along for the ride. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and whoever else would watch and be like, "We know God is trying to tell you something." Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you watch those shows and those movies. Just like when you go see a, a play and there's just some per- somebody or some people yes. who draw you in more than others. And it could be that person who's in the back row in the near the wings. What is it about people and the people who you really captivate you? What what are they giving you? What are you drawn into about those performances or people? Mm, that just gave me chills. I think the fact that they are um, they've disappeared. You know, like they've totally lost themselves in it. Um, Again, we just had such, we were surrounded with such good performers and such good artists who would just lose themselves in whatever they were in. And when you see something like that, you see Cicely Tyson, literally her lip quivering because she lost herself in the fact that she is taking this sip of water from the first fountain, you know what I mean? Uh, First, or she's defying and drinking out the white fountain in that movie. It just, I knew she had lost herself. Like, I was like, this lady is, this is really happening. That's so, that's the magic. This is really happening to say that and to forget you're watching TV and compress pause or watching a play and can go to the bathroom to have that moment where you, you as an audience member forget like, oh, this is, this is pretend. It's just, I mean, just to be able to escape this world and just live in that place is so magical. And I think it is people who are able to lose themselves enough for mm-hmm. us as audience members to lose ourselves is that that's the magic. Like when they have totally just, you can see it sometimes in performance. If you're, especially being in state on stage, you oh, can yeah. see those times, you can see those times where you're like, Hey girl, you had a show at three o'clock and you doing it and you going through. And then you can see those times when you like, hey, what just happened? You right. Know we feel, it's pretend, right. You ain't really got to don't snap me. Like, like you, <laughs> you realize like they have lost themselves in it. And it's so magical for each, and it, especially for it to happen to you as well. It's just like the whole, everything disappears and you're right there in that present moment. It's just beautiful. I think that's the magic. I think that's the magic. Mm, that's so good. And I, I, I would absolutely agree when I forget that I'm watching something scripted, <laughs> yes. you know, like, and I'm sucked in and especially now, even now as an, as an adult actor, who knows all the behind the yes. scenes. Yes. And I still, you still draw me in. I just felt like that when I watched the Tammy Faye Baker movie. I just recently watched that. And I was watching it because I was like, I used to love Tammy Faye and I used to lashes and all that. And then like 30 minutes into the movie, I was like, Tammy Faye? <laughs> <laughs> like, and I had to remind myself like, Charity, this is not her, but the it, it just sucked, just pulled me in so far that I was like, oh yeah, I used to, oh yeah, I remember, oh, the puppets, yeah, like, 
And I had to remind myself, this is pretend, like, relax. Like, I was like, why are they treating these people like this? Like, they just, it's like their whole church, girl. Like, charity, this is fake. Like, oh, okay, it happened 25, 30 years ago. Okay. But just that moment where you can, when the actor is so good, literally so good and so in tune to what they're doing. That, that even though you know there's a camera here and there's a you know there's a prop master there all those things you can just forget and go oh man this is really happening it's just beautiful yeah even now yeah even now oh, I love that yes 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 get lost in it you know I, I always find that often the thing that we admire most about people typically ends up being the thing that we end up borrowing and taking bits mm-hmm. from for ourselves so what do you know it's happening into my open moment okay Okay, what go ahead. Know, Tap it, girl. Tap it. <laughs> what do you know for sure mm. makes you magnetic when you walk in a room? What's your superpower that you just know? Nobody has to tell you. Yeah, I know I can bring joy in every room. Like I know, I have no doubt that the, the gift, the energy that was given me to me was joy. I know that for a fact. I know that I'm not afraid of my emotions. And and I, I I often like to play with them even more. I stuff that and that also scares me a little bit because I know given the right part or piece, I would probably be like really needed to help unwind from it. Some things I have to really try to unpeel when I leave because I love I love exploring the human mind and what makes people do things. Um, that was one of the things I actually studied uh, in in college, and I just. So, so it makes a, the layer of performance a lot different for me because I really want to know like what had them this and I'm going so far down the rabbit hole that I know that sometimes I have to peel that off. But just naturally innate, I know I'm meant to bring joy into the rooms I'm coming that I come into. I don't, I'd be laughing and giggling and being this yes over nothing. You be, we are trying to do a death scene. Oh, what's, that, what's happening right now? I'd be so silly, but I know that it's a gift. And and what I was what's interesting about it, Christine, is that I didn't realize other people didn't have it for a long time. Like I thought everybody was around here laughing and having fun and joy. <laughs> and so I was like, why y'all, what was happening? It's also, but I do believe it's my superpower, but I also believe it could be my kryptonite as well. Because if I if I um find that I'm not able to to live that part out of me, it's so damaging. Like if I'm not able to be my full big self, if I have to um dial that down for the sake of security of others. It, it also is also damaging sometimes to me. So I have to like, make sure I check myself with those with that as well. So yeah, but I think I, that's what I know for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that is definitely, I would have to agree. I've, I've known you a very long time and <laughs> I'm not even going to say out loud some of the moments where you have brought joy and we like, that was not the vibe here, but you then can't help but laugh. I'll tell you when we get done with this recording, <laughs> but there are so many. I love that. I hear the passion and I hear how long you've been doing this and the road um, leading to where you are today, which is, you know, you're currently at the time of this recording, recording, recurring on the hit show, The Wonder Years on ABC <laughs> and have done so many movies and things. Y'all can check out her IMDb later. Okay. Um, otherwise we'll be here for a while, but what gig, what paid gig confirmed for you? I'm good at this. I'm, I'm really good at this. I'm really good. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good, oh, that's a good question. I'm going to give two, good, two answers because one made me say, I'm good at this. And the other made me say, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Um, so so I'll, I'll give the, I'm good at this was definitely, I think, Selma. Um, and because I didn't even know that's that's that and, and, and Christine can tell you how much I didn't know that I didn't know right <laughs> I was should I bring my wig cap Christine because they might want to put a wig on she was like uh they gonna have wig caps I was like <laughs> oh okay okay like, like I, I need y'all to know how much I didn't know but the reason I say it confirmed that I'm good at this is because in all my naivete to, to all the the pieces and nuances that has around it I was able to do the job and do it extremely well. And in myself knew that it was great. Like, no, I didn't have to wait for the edit. I didn't have to wait for anything. I walked away from there saying, 
job well done, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and and you know as an actor what that's like to like walk away and be like, dang, I wish I would have said, mama, yeah. you know, whatever that is, or I wish I would have, dang, just look one look harder, whatever that thing is that you, but I left with complete peace of there is nothing else I could have given more out there. So I so it made me say I I'm good and I'm I can do this, right? I can do it with all these people who have been doing it for just as long. Um, you just need opportunity, right? <laughs> you like we you good, you just waited for opportunity, somebody else to say, which we could talk about later, but someone else to say, okay, yeah, let's let's give this girl a try. Um yeah. so I think that made me feel I'm good. What made me feel like, oh, this is my happy place was honestly. Just recently, um, I did a, sh- a movie called American Refugee in New Orleans, and I'm working my way up to watch it. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not that you know what it's not that I think and, people. <laughs> What's funny ahead. is, as I was watching the trailer, I was like, "Why well, I know these lines?" It's because <laughs> I auditioned for Erica Alexander's role, and I was like, "Isn't that the weirdest thing when you watch something? You're like, I know these lines. Why? Because mm-hmm. I forget. I throw auditions away once I'm done. Like." But I was like, oh, this is a thriller. It's Blumhouse. Let me, it's too dark. Let me watch it during the day. Yeah, I I, I don't think it's as dark. I think it could have gotten a lot darker because even I don't, you know, I'm a scared. Now I am, I joy, but I'm a scaredy cat, like scaredy cat. So, uh, but it wasn't as dark as I think it could have gotten. I think um, Ali Leroy, who is the creator behind uh, Everyone uh, Hates Chris, that he really nuanced it really well. Um, so I don't think it's as dark as it could. So you could, you could watch it and I'd be okay. But I say that was when I said, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be because it was one of the first times where everything just felt easy. It was just an effortless flow, right? I wasn't worried about who else was there or what they were doing or hitting the mark or I was so settled in that character and and, and in that world I remember just being like, like, like a chill. You know how you be seeing people chill on set? You'd be like, dang, they so chill. Right. Like, because it's where they're supposed to be. It was, it was, it was one of those moments where I realized, like, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. And it wasn't because everything was perfect or or it, it wasn't that it was just a piece that I can't really describe that was like, oh yeah, this is me. Like, this is my life. This is my life. And I'm able to live it in a way that is just perfect. And that was the, it was just the piece that came with that of just, and I think that came from me. I don't think that was nothing to do with the movie or anything like that. I think it was a, 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 a um, confirmation or a decision in myself that this is what it is, right? This is all there is for me. Not all, but this is what there is for me right now. And this is where I'm supposed to be. And it's not a, it's not a mystical gift. I wasn't given a golden ticket. You know what right. I mean? Like, I, I, I didn't win the pride. No, this is this is where you're supposed to be. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just wanted to say that. But I think the first one would have been Selma. Just, just I can do it, and I can do it well. Yeah, you did a, such a beautiful job. If you haven't seen Selma, you can watch it again or watch it for the first time. That's by Ava DuVernay. Watch it for the first time, because y'all know y'all be like, it was too. Y'all be saying the same thing about Selma. Y'all say about Blumhouse. This will be too dark. I can't watch. It. I'm scared. <laughs> It's such a great film and uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's one of my <laughs> the <laughs> laughing is because I still get residuals even though I was cut out. It's yes. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Ava. I appreciate Thank you, you. Ava. I appreciate you, Ava. Because <laughs> everybody don't do that. Every, you right do that. not do you that. Right. You know, you like <laughs> you be waiting, and then, and then when you get cut out, you be like, but "That's okay, I still did the work," and I probably go, and then "You know, it's been like a year. You still ain't got no residual." You be like, right. "Hey." <laughs> you know, you meant you said something in when you were talking about doing Selma, knowing that you know it was a job well done. There was nothing else you could have given. You felt like you did. You did basically did justice. Mm-hmm. How do you internally gauge a job well done for you? That's a good. Um, my body is usually, and because I've been having, I've had the luxury of doing such emotionally rich roles. I do check in with my physical body. Usually I can physically feel, um, it, if it's been completed, I don't know how to tell you this, but like an underground railroad, it was a very, it was, it, it was one or two working days. It was, it wasn't a lot of working days, but my body was so sore afterwards. Right like literally felt like I ran a marathon. I was so sore and had to come home and do a lot of body work because of just, just holding 
what that character was holding um, and, and trying to process. We don't realize how much as humans, when people are really processing stuff, <laughs> it's stuff happening in their bodies, whatever it is. Um, yes. It's a love scene, you know, process it if it's a, a danger scene. And so usually I can tell from my body and my body's reaction what's happening um, if, if, if it's done and done well. Um, and, and that's just something I've learned to check in with myself. Like, okay, do you physically feel, um, I don't even know if I'm saying this right, but the, ten, you know, where were you tense at or where, where, where muscle do you feel the most or what is, what has been invigorated in you because of it, depending on the role, but I can, I could check in with my physical body. Mm, that's good. And it's, it's going to be different for everybody, right? Yeah. I think in some of the conversations I've been having during this series is, and I'm, I'm always as, as even as an acting coach wanting to empower anyone that I mentor to be able to find that internal gauge of, I did a good job because many times you were the only one who can Who's tell see the performance. That. Yeah. You know, you send it off, you send your audition off to casting. You may not hear anything and it doesn't mean you did a bad job. Yeah. You did an amazing job, but you, we don't always get feedback. Sometimes mm-hmm. the only feedback we get comes into the form of a pin and a veil or a booking. Yeah. Or that next invite to something else from that same from that casting director or producer. So I think it's so important to feel, to know what that feels like for you. When and you even, even happy things, like I want to talk about just auditions for a second. Even auditions, yeah. I can I can still feel, like when I leave my little audition room, I can feel like, okay, now that was, you, you, you finished it. Okay. You can say you finished it and my body physically will feel like that. Like, or I could be like... Hey, you know, curls is popping. And I it, it doesn't mean I book it, but the feeling of, like I said, it just, just being my physical body releasing something that either says that was hot or okay, you ready to go get your kids from school now? Or yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we've had, we've talked about that years ago, you know, a few few years, I don't know, four yeah. years ago, whatever. I remember you being like, I was asking, like, when are you taping? Well, the kids and, you know, because you had young kids and we're doing it after dinner, but then we're all tired. Yeah. And I was like, that's going to have to change because it's affecting. So why? It, it was so, that was such good. I'm telling you, oh, that was such good advice because y'all know we be thirsty actors, baby. We thirsty. Time that thing come in. Oh, shoot. They want to see me. We be like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> get kids, get your, get whatever, right? And I remember you being like, why are you doing these while you're tired? I was like, well, because I want to get it in. And I want to, you were like, yeah, you just might as well not turn it in. If that's what it's going to be like. I was like, you know, we are supposed to be friends. You don't have to (laughs) say it like that. You know, you can say like something different. I don't know. You're an actor, figure out another way to tell me, but it was such good advice. And I took it and I use it now to say, either I have the time and space to do it or I don't. Mm -hmm. And because the piece of come is just being like, this is what I'm going to be doing. Right. Like it, it's so it's so game changing when you know you're where you're supposed to be yeah. and you know that what is yours is yours. It's so game changing because now my my life hasn't changed. All the stuff on my right. calendar has not changed. Hell, now your kids are working more. Your, your kids are on the camera, too. They'd be like, we got a tape. I'd be like, this is my life. <laughs> like, I'm the I'm the star of this family. Joan Crawford. Okay. Um, Christina, get these wire hangers. Okay. Anyway. So I, um, but my life has not changed, but I am so aware of my body again. Think like, seriously, just being aware of my body enough to say, you can put on that makeup and beat that face to the gods, but you're tired. Like, so don't do that. Like I'd rather wake up early, which I do all the time. Just wake up at four or five o'clock before they're up and drag my husband out of bed who God bless him is like, do you you mind look I'm ready to read I'm ready to read he'll be like I already set up the camera can you just I got your size just come on just come get out of bed (laughs) it's four in the morning but it's better I'd rather do that now than what I was doing before which is such a good just just a good tip about knowing your body and just I I didn't know before I was so willing to just get it in and feel like I could still perform but if you're, t- you're not going to give a good performance if you're tired or if you're worn or if you're still ch- like, I got to get there. And even today, even today, I had three scenes to do and I had you at two o'clock and I said, well, I can get in one scene before 
I do her. And then it was like, okay, well, maybe I'll get in one more. I did that take really good. And then I said, you know what? We're not going to push the last scene because I got to get on this thing. And I'm, it's going to be, that's what's going to be in my head. Right. Three minutes to Christine, three, two minutes to Christine. Like, yeah. So yeah, I don't even know what question it was, but I agree. It's all, it's all good. I, we were talking about gauging a job well done. Oh yeah. And, that's and, how, yeah. Body. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's, it's, each and every one of you has to find that. And just so you know, Charity, you're not the only parent I've said that to. Like, I am i don't have kids, so I always approach it with that understanding. But what I know, like I know, is if you're tired, we gonna know. And it's not gonna mm-hmm. read. And I tell people, like, your life is not gonna change. Them kids ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so yeah. you gotta figure out your schedule and find your pockets when you can. And when you know when you're more fresh and when you're exhausted. You know, I found my threshold right before the Christmas holiday. You know how like the last yeah. week of, before the Christmas, before everything shuts down, like around December 18th or 20th. I swear this past holiday, I had like seven auditions that were due within two days. And they were like 10 pages, 15 pages. Ooh, like, yeah. So the, right, and didn't book none of them, by the way. Did amazing work. Did a, I booked the rooms. But you did I, great. <laughs> I booked the rooms, yes. But you know, for me, that's huge. But I remember there was one day because I had seven. They were all had like pretty much same due dates. And I got to the fifth one and I was like, ooh, five is my five is my limit for this, for this type of yeah. stuff. Cause I was tapped out, not because I I I could have done it. I had the clothes, but I knew each time I'm in a but for me, it's yes. very spiritual. I'm yes. in a new body, I'm in a new body, I'm in a new experience. And I, again, I, I compare it to Whoopi Goldberg and ghosts. Like I'm like, whoo, yeah. I am, I have no more, like I can't tell someone else's story. I can't tell yeah. any more yeah. stories today and yeah. become any more people today. I, yeah. it's that, so it's not about the tech or the lines or I, I am, I am internally zapped. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you don't know that it's like drinking alcohol. You don't know your, your limits till you, till you reach it. Right. You don't know your limits till you sit down and you'd be like, oh, I got to go to sleep. Like, right. <laughs> you don't know you drug until you sit down. You'd be like, you right. to stand up, you're like, I can't get up. What just happened? Yeah, that's true. It's true. Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, The Booking Magnet. I am so excited to invite you to our next event. It is called Booking Magnet Live. It's happening in Atlanta, Georgia on July 15th and 16th, 2022. You're going to spend two days surrounded with actors oh, just like you. Actors who want more, actors who are looking for a safe space, a sanctuary, a safe haven to express themselves, to learn, to grow, and to connect. So I'm excited for you to experience that. Make sure you join us July 15th and 16th. You can click the link below, and I'm so excited to see you there. Let's segue. I want to talk a bit about the ebbs and flows of this career. Because this career can be like this, roller coaster ride, roller coaster ride, up one minute, down the next. And and this could be in the form of, you know, when I was talking to Kelly Jen Rep, and I, if you didn't ca- catch that interview, make sure you watch that one. And she was really uh, letting, making sure people understood. She's like, 2006 to 2013, that's how long it took before I booked my first co star. 2006, moving to LA, to 2013. And I was like, for perspective. And even when you're on a hit show, maybe you're a series regular, or maybe you just finished a movie, like balancing that. And when it's quiet, how do you deal in the moments of silence when there's nothing happening? It's a lull in the career, right? Because I know you and I have had, you and I have had private conversations, yeah. but the real deal, you know, one thing when I talked to Brittany Inge also this week, we talked about owning the feelings, like not pretending that it's not happening. So what does that look like for you? You know, there's been a a lot of quiet, a lot of silence. I don't even know how many years or how many, you know, you, it sucks. This shit sucks. Is this, is is this, is this a PG? What kind of podcast is this? This What kind of got that? This shit sucks. It sucks. So it's, (laughs) it feel like, let me tell you, I always tell people, I'm like, it feels like, you know, you got that one boo thing that you like. I know if we can just, if he can just, if I can just, we'll be so perfect together. And then y'all be like perfect for like three months. I'm talking about like, it is so beautiful. The stars are aligned. Y'all in love. And then you be like, then, then he just slap you one day. You be like, what just happened? 
and you abusive? Like, he'd be like, that's it, I'm done. And you be like, but I love you. I love you. I swear, I, I promise this baby from like an abusive relationship sometimes. And I'd be like, well, fine then, because I got other talents. Now, let me tell you, I don't have to, I don't have to act, okay? I can do other things. I, I'm a mom. I write, okay? I, I teach. I'm a teacher. I'm certified. I have degrees, okay? I have a master's. I don't have to do this. So I, you know what? I don't care if you don't call. I don't care. I don't care if I see all my friends on TV every night, every day. There they go again. There they, I, I don't care. And then you'd be like, and then the minute the Negro show up with a rose, you'd be like, we in love. I love you so much. <laughs> Audition. It feel like, oh, he about to propose. He's going to be mad. I'm going to get my Oscar tomorrow. I knew it. I knew it. That's what it's like. Like, that's what that shit is like. It is horrible. It's horrible. But how do you feel? What are the tools that you put in place? Okay. The same but I, okay. Tools. I do not drink. <laughs> I do not smoke, no. Tools, I think, honestly, what has been my saving grace, which I did not know would be a saving grace, is that I do have a family and I do have other career paths and things that I'm involved in, right? That 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 remind, that I can be busy with, right? That still need me to attune to it. That for real, for real is the, is the truth. If I did not still have other things and places I need to be at certain times, I do not know what the mental state would be because it is quiet as hell sometimes. Yeah. And, and sometimes, you know, you... Even I'll just use this. You hear, you know, we all have actor friends. We're in this circle. So, oh, girl, I got seven auditions this week. And you'd be like, you do? Well, we we look alike because I, I didn't get, what, what was the name of the show you said? Because I'm not going to call my agent, but just, okay, CIS. Okay. And what what was the other, you know, it's quiet sometimes and you don't know why. You yeah. don't know why. And you're like, I'm still just as good as I was on this. And I'm still just working as hard. So I, I think, honestly, I have to just remember What's for you is for you. What's for you is for you. What's for you is for you. Um, that's my one tool, right? Staying busy is my other. Just have other things. Create your own. Do your own stuff. Um, find something to do. Find something to do. Fit, pick up a new. I just saw um, D Woods was was learning how to like fight now. Um, like learning how to do like combat stuff. And I was like, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get in a combat class. Like find something to do with your time. Um, find another tool to put in your toolbox, another skill to add, learn another, uh, dialect or something. Um, so I just think just trying to do those things. And then I'll go back to, I don't have a problem going back to theater. Like if it's, you know, local theater, small theater, because it's about the muscle. It's never about, um, it's about doing the work for me and the muscle of it, as opposed to the money. Now I like my money. I'm not saying that I'm saying the satisfaction of being with my lover the art, I can get that from a picnic or I can get that from going to the Four Seasons, right? If you just look at the at the, the gauge of what that's like. And so sometimes it's about just having a picnic with my lover, the art, you know? And sometimes my art, my lover says, I'm taking you to the Four Seasons, shot. we're going to be chilling over. Ah, I love you, boo! You know, but, but it's about finding that space in between. And I do think, honestly, honestly, for actors, I did not understand how much and what was not the quiet, but the lack of responses, but the offerings, the re-offerings of opportunity to come in was another sign of doing the right thing. You know, I just thought the silence meant, well, you just going to be a, a nurse or something. Is they hiring at uh, Wendy's because they got that sign up there to say $20 an hour now. You really do a lot with it, you know, but the offer, the fact that they call you back in the booking, the room mm -hmm. is the win. Sometimes the walking out with the, the feeling, my physical feeling of that was good is enough sometimes because I got something else to do anyway. So I ain't got time to be quiet and mulling around. I, I, I'm going to pull how many auditions I've had in between auditions. You know what I mean? In between bookings. It, yeah, I'm I gonna, track, I track, I keep. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to track. I'm going to see. I, I have a spreadsheet <laughs> so I can clearly tell at a glance. After, yeah, like you, there are, there are months where you just be, and then there's months where stuff hit, hit, hit. And then, like you said, the ebb and flows of it. But but I have to remember, nothing about me hitting and missing has changed. It's just it just wasn't the game that I was playing. You know, it wasn't for me to be in the game right there for that that particular pitch. But yeah, it's hard. That shit is hard. that shit is hard. I ain't got no answer. <laughs> just well, y'all no. gotta find, find you a club to join. Shit, just find you some. And community, you know, that's why community yeah. is so important too, you know, which is why for those of you who are not already join our Hollywood bound actors, yes. Facebook community, our Instagram, listen to, of course, you're already here on the podcast because isolation is a dream killer and isolation can mess with your mind. 
and you feel like you're the only one going through this, what's wrong with me? And it can go down the spiral of, mm-hmm. of that. And, and Charity's being a thousand percent honest with you. There's been many times she called me like, oh my gosh, what is happening? I, I, I'm a, I give up. I, I mean, I'm just gonna, but Charity from the outside looking in, what you should know, I was telling my mother about this, about you. Cause she I didn't, um, right. Cause she was so excited to see you and Sekhan, our another mutual friend on the one years at the same time. And, and I was like, I want to play with them. I want to be my sister. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> but I was telling, we were talking about, I was like, Charity has had this magical life and this, from the That's outside true. looking in, well, I'm aware of the ups and downs, but I'm also aware of how things work out and I'm using magical intentionally. Like, so it's just, it'll be like, oh yeah, I just happened to be here and my daughter happened to be there. And so this happened and now we're all doing this. And, oh, I just happened to email this person and my agent didn't respond. So I went and did this and, oh, I'm, oh yeah, I'm going to be in Selma. And like, it'll be like, what? And then there'll be these quiet moments. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, so just know that like from the, from, as a friend and outside looking in, like there is something, there's a, I, I, my brain is envisioning like this pixie dust around you. Like yeah. we don't know how it's going to come. And I think the way it does show up in your life just makes, gives you more room for more co- potential content. To write about. <laughs> You're right about that. It does be magical. Christine, I, I agree with that. And I, I always play with God like, you know, we could we could just do it regular today, God. You know, like a normal people, how it happens to normal people. <laughs> I mean, I, I do like, but he'd be like, but you like the drama of it. I'd be like, I do, I do God, but like sometimes <laughs> I just kind of want to like, I just really want the regular way because <laughs> this other stuff be kind of freaking me out. But he'd be like, but you like being so excited you can't sleep for the next three weeks. I'd be like, you're right, you're right, you're right. And like, look, this is a good old story when I get to hear about I mean, it. It'd be so good. I'd be like, I can't sleep for three weeks. I'd be in my bed just giggling like, <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. It, it does be magical. But I, I agree. I think um, having community, and let me just shout out Christine. I remember when she said, because I'm going to be a life coach and I'm going to make it. I was like, <laughs> what? Okay. Oh yeah, you know your voice go high and you don't really know what people talk. Oh, right, that's so good. <laughs> right. But and she started I number this is um Actors Daily Bread number three, number 17, number four, number 41, hello replay watchers, number 67, number th- and let me tell you that idea, you know, I can get messy. I told you I'm emotional, has shifted literally the playing field hundreds of creative people yeah and um oh god I'm saying that because we think we are just this one thing and that we have this one gift and if you would just allow yourself to be unafraid I she was given all the acting tea too I would be like Christine <laughs> ain't none of us gonna get no jobs you telling them all how to get the jobs shut up can you please just I would like to be personally part of the how you really get the job. <laughs> but if you could on your podcast and on your face, if you could just tell them how to kind to get the job, I would appreciate that. But she was so open and so vulnerable, Christine. And I, I just want to honor you for saying you freaking did that shit. Thank you. Fearlessly, like, what's for me is for me. So I don't care if I tell y'all how to do everything. You can't yeah. be me. You ain't gonna be no Christine Horn. And you have literally shifted the trajectory, I think, of hundreds of thousands of actors because of your willingness to be honest and open about this process. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because if it was not for you doing that and for not having those daily breads when it was quiet, those daily breads when I was cooking downstairs, like in carpooling, I would listen to it in the car, the carpooling, because like, hello, what's up, replay? I was like, I'm always a replay watcher. Replay watcher. Hello. <laughs> I'm like, that's me again. I'm listening to Christine. Tell me something. You know, don't, don't, who's the voice in your head? Who's what I'll be listening, girl? It's you and Oprah. I got my super soul and I got my Hollywood daily band actors. Okay. That's who I listen to when I like got to get through the hump. Because if you do not have community and you do not have the reality of this industry, this shit will, you'll think this is something it's not. And it's, it's, it's a job. It's work. It's a spiritual thing, but it ain't, it ain't, it's, it's not for no punks. And I just want to honor you for that because I remember we had went to see, you know, we had went to see, we went to see, um, moonlight and it was after moonlight and you was just about to move to LA and you were like, and I'm going to, um, you know, take life coaching. I'm going to be, and I was like, okay, <laughs> probably just 
probably just watched a little too many films. Right? <laughs> she, she in one of these ebbs and flows where the money ain't right. So now she's like, she's going to be a life coach. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be a yoga instructor. I'm going to be a well, yoga instructor. And I and I had many jobs, so that was a very big possibility. I I like to eat and keep the lights on. Yes, we don't we play the never, broke actor life. We have see, we have never. Let me tell you, me and you have never been about that that starving artist life. We be like, <laughs> now we ain't finna starve. Now we would, I would do something for free, but I'm gonna work somewhere to get some right. money. <laughs> but I just really, you gotta, you gotta take a second and honor yourself, girl. What th- what this has done for? I don't even think you know. I don't. It'd be amazing to see the the reach, the reach. Oh, anyway, what's the question? Cause shit, I thought we were talking about me. This my this here my ju joint, huh, boo? What are you doing? <laughs> Do y'all see why I love charity? It's supposed to be about me, mama. Okay, I thank, I thank you for that. And but no, that's true. And and please know, it was never fearless. It was playing scared. It still is playing scared. Yeah. Um, but knowing that the purpose is bigger than the fear and knowing that God placed this in me and taking on the assignment and being obedient and being like, okay. And you're absolutely right. Sitting in my worth and worthiness and knowing that I'm one of a kind, wonderful, just like you are. Yeah. And, and I know I've not gotten many a role and not because I didn't do a good job. So it's like, I'll teach you what I know. and. I get so blessed and fed when I get the text and the Instagram posts and the student posts. And I booked this book. It's like, I feel like I'm always, I'm, cause we, you know, proximity is power. Yes. You you're always booked. Yourself. Yep. Yes. You want to surround yourself with people who are winning and that's yep. the cult. That's the community. And that's what that's been cultivated. So, and you're part of that. You were absolutely part of that. Um, charity, just a fun fact. Charity helped host, help me host my very first, conference workshop mini yes. mini workshop in atlanta i was like you ain't got no money here's a t-shirt you want your t-shirt and was there helping me out and you know i'm excited because you know at the time of this recording we're prepping for you know my very first large conference at the marriott july 15th and 16th <laughs> um so i'll Saturday. be there volunteering again if yeah. i ain't know nobody set i will be there like can i get my t-shirt but in a small and if i could just <laughs> let me tell you because Okay, can we just talk about just just friendship for a second in this industry? I don't know if that's one of your look. It <laughs> makes me, it makes me I be geeked up. I am a geeked up friend when it comes to my friends shining. Girl, when I be seeing them people walk in, they be like, "Christine, it's my I'm, it's me um <laughs> it's me Je- Lucretia, just Justin and I you know I be I be on your I be following you and I, I'm so happy to meet you. I be like Go ahead. You can be, you can, I'll take your picture with her. You know, I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be so happy because I'll be sick. Girl, and, and, now let me tell you Christine's superpower. Her superpower is uh, Grace Jones' greatness, okay? She will, she will not bend, okay? That's what she told me one time. I'm like this, I'm like this uh, tall, Christine like this tall. And I was like, Christine, let's take a picture again. And, you, and I'm like, can you, Christine, can you get in the frame because I want to take a picture with you? you can, she was like, I will not bend. I was like, what, what? Is we in Macbeth? What the fuck? What is happening? Like, I just want to be, you, I, I will not bend. I remember that day. I was like, well, I cannot grow. So what is we going to do? Like, I just want to be. It's going to be a wide shot. It's going to be, guys, can you back up? She she will not be. But I'm telling you, that's your presence. Like, that's your presence is, that's your superpower is not bending just owning your greatness, being able to stand in it fully. Oh, it is I, to walk in those legs and the greatness <laughs> of them. I'm still, like, I don't even know what word is it, but that's, I think that's one of your superpowers is just being like able to just stand in the fullness of who you are, in the greatness of who you are. And there is no, I mean, what else y'all want me to do? I'm not, I, I'm great. I will not bend. Y'all can use that. Put that shit on Come your on. hashtag. Come hashtag on. that. Hashtag, 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 hashtag I, would, not bend. I will not bend. <laughs> Even for my short ass friends who ain't, but it's fine if they're not really in the picture. It's only my head. It's all the Christine body in my. <laughs> I have many friends whose head come to my boob. When we yes, I will not. 
Oh, Chad, this, you, uh, this is, you see why these conversations are so great. You know, before yeah. we wrap and you get back to that audition that you're going to crush, that you are already I'm going crushing. to crush it. You know, in all seriousness, I mean, everything's been serious and wonderful. As you can see, remember, she brings the joy, which is really cool. I want you to, for a moment, as we settle, get ready to settle, is think about the actor who is seasoned 15 plus years in the game and maybe is feeling frustrated because it's been quiet for a long time. And I also want you to think about the brand Nubian who is starting and maybe feel a little lost and confused and frustrated. So there's two types of frustration, I'm sure plenty in the middle. And they're thinking of throwing in the towel, wondering, am I even cut out for this? Maybe I'm just not good enough. What words of, how can you just pour into that heart just for a moment before we go? Yeah, that's really good. You know, we've been, I, I, I fast forwarded to, and Christine talked about some good times, but we've been doing this professionally since we were 14, 15 years old. Let's be, let's be honest. We have been being artists for that amount of time and, and sewing into this dream for that amount of time. And yes, I am only 21, so it hasn't been that long. However, it is, it is not an easy gig to take. It is not an easy call to answer. Uh, if this is what God has put in your heart and put on your life, it's not an easy one to take on. So I just want to encourage you that it's, it, you have to make the, the motivation has to be answering the call first, because if it's anything else, it'll wipe you out. Um, so I, I encourage you, number one, to find out your reason why, the why behind you doing it. And then, you know, what helps me a lot for real, for real is I say like, is Denzel on set today? Is Halle Berry on set today? Mm, is, I don't know, whoever else you idolize or like, uh, is Antoine, you know, who, Fuqua on set today? These are great people, but they're not working every day either. They're just not. It's just not how the industry works. They're not working every day. They're not booking everything. They get looked over for stuff too. And they shouldn't because they, Denzel Washington Halle Berry. Right. You know? And so your worth cannot be in the booking. It cannot be in the trailer. It cannot be in the, <laughs> definitely don't make it in the trailer over the honey wagon, baby. Feelings be hurt. Okay. Pissing in your, uh, to <laughs> pissing in your sofa. <laughs> now you got to piss in your sofa at the same time. What? <laughs> if, it, if it works. Do I, <laughs> it, do I just lift up the sofa and pee in that? Because <laughs> I was going to take a nap there. <laughs> that can't be your worth. <laughs> Let me mute myself. <laughs> it, it's, okay. You know, it can't be in that. It really has to be in the call. It has to be an answer in the call over your life, over your destiny. It has to be in that. And I just want to, it can't, it can't be about, it, you're going to have to throw age out the window. Throw age timing out the window. I remember, let me say, I remember, we got a good network. We got a good network of people, circle of people. And so I have, seen my circle of friends be on Broadway for a long time while I'm in college or getting a degree or birthing some babies. And you have that moment where you think, well, dang, like this, this is when you're supposed to happen when it's young and when you're fresh and when your boobs sit up or whatever the case may be. Right. I, and I, what I know for sure now is if I would have got it there, it would have, it would have really messed me up. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I was strong. I don't, mm, cause I'm already like, what's up? I'm down for anything. So I think I would, <laughs> and I got responsibility. I got responsibilities, and I still be like, okay, I'll try. I mean, I don't know. I'll try. I don't. So I think it would have really hurt me then. So, so I think it's okay. The timing is the timing. Enjoy right now. Enjoy today. Enjoy today. People are dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, enjoy today because it's when it will happen. When it will happen, it's going to be great. And I would hate for you to have missed all these beautiful days looking for that day that's all the way over there. There's so much beauty happening today. It's so much goodness happening today. So that's what I would just say, you know, new, new or old, it doesn't matter. We all knew sometimes, even the old ones, <laughs> we, all, we all can be new. You know what I mean? I think about, I'm really just impressed with uh, this whole fighter movie Halle Berry just did. And I think about that, like, that was brand new for her. That was brand new for her. This seasoned right. actor who, who has, you know, people dream and fantasize or want to be her, love her. She's got the awards. Even she had to step into something new. That mm -hmm. was new for her. And it's okay. And I'm sure all the things you feel right now, 
do a, your one line audition. <laughs> What's your line? Let me see what your one line gonna be. Okay. Advice. Okay. Advice. No oh, shoot. Advice. <laughs> advice you know whatever it is but the same insecurity you feel in that like if i don't book this is gonna be that they never go act again i'm sure it's the same shit she felt you know what i mean going on that set learning to fight being director for the first time it's it's all a mind game but it has to be the why you got to know the, the the why behind that call and i think you'll be settled so yeah you find find your peace find your peace Cause he's gonna need it. <laughs> you gonna need, well, I'm telling you, the minute you lift up that sh- that sofa to piss in it, you go need some peace. Cause you you be walking, you know, you come on set. I, I when you leave the house, I'm I, I got a gig today because I'm I book. Oh, I'm gonna go work on it. Um, yeah, it's it's just a couple lines, but it's fine. I'm got you got your whole get up. You got your your blanket. You go take with you. You got your bag, baby. Okay, you know, got your you stop. They got the good coffee. So when you show up, you know, you kind of look a little more flossy. And they put your ass in that honey wagon. You be like, <laughs> but you still there? You there? You're I'm there. Still you better there. find the you better find a good angle to make the trailer look good for your Instagram. <laughs> if I just squeeze up real close and leak, <laughs> block it out. You better get your you better get you one of these filters and put the, <laughs> make you like you in the mountains. <laughs> They should come up with a whole, a good old honey, a good old triple banger trailer uh, background image. Work on that, Charity. Okay, that's it, baby, because it's going to be, and you just sit in front and be like, right. on set. Uh-huh. set again. On set, <laughs> on set again. <laughs> <laughs> As you, excuse me, don't, don't come in. Don't open the other side, please. I'm using the back. Oh my I God. This thing. I told you, your boyfriend, girl, sometimes he be, he loses his job. You got to be in the. <sighs> Sometimes you in the good trailer, sometimes you lose your job, but here you're your honey. Yeah. But listen, it's about that work you do on that on that lens. Woo! Nobody cares where you were being held. And, <laughs> and don't if serious, if you better say that. Nobody cares or knows. Right. And when you show up, let me say this. When you show up and show up well prepared mm-hmm. and ready to perform, I don't care if you just got that one line advice. People will notice and remember you because of the feeling you give. It's it's the energy that you bring that makes them go, she ain't never re- is it advice? I ain't never know that was just the one word. <laughs> that was good. And you walk off, you done did your job. And they will remember this industry ain't that big. People remember you. People remember you, the sound technician, the costumer. And they and sometimes they all got an ear to somebody. And you'll be like, oh, okay. So you better do do your job and do it well. Do your job, do it well. I love that. Do your job and do it well. Charity, thank you. Please. It's been so much fun. So you've poured into me today. And uh, and I know you poured into all the listeners and the, all the replay watchers. What's up, you guys? What's up, replay watchers? <laughs> you got to get in the lens. You gotta, I don't even know why I did that one day. I just did that one day. I have no idea. Yeah, you on one episode, you kind of, let me tell you recently, cause you know, I still be a replay, I don't care. And one time you was kind of like, hey, everybody who's watching today, what's that replay? You kind of said like a real throwback, like little replay watches. And I was like, oh, 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 your subscribers big now. So you don't want to give us none? Okay. Girl, it's so funny. I'm, it's, 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 and when I don't do it, people, I didn't realize that was the thing. Even my, some of my students who I mentor, but like, I love it when you say that. And like, I was like, who knew? Just, I was being silly one day. And I don't know, you know, you never know. What yeah, well, we well we want our we want our shine. Okay, yeah. so don't just throw us away with the, hey, everybody, replay watches, what's up? You were like real cavalier, like, what's up, replay watches? I must watches? have been sleepy. I must have been tired. I must have been tired. Won't happen. Yeah, well, don't do shit while you're tired. That's what you well, told me. Boom, won't happen again. Won't happen again. Y'all stay connected to Charity Jordan. All her links to everything will be in the show notes. Um, again, if you miss any part of this series, go to the go to our Hollywood Bound Actors podcast. Catch all the rest of the interviews in this series. It's amazing. And Charity, I look forward to just seeing you more and more on my screen. I love you, friend. Thank you for I being with you. us. Thank you.